Hello and welcome to We Live in a Society. I'm currently in Sydney in hotel quarantine at the Hilton. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to um, review the meal ready to eat from the United States military. Um, it's menu number nine, beef stew. It's not a 24 hour ration. It's just a, a single uh, meal. It's, uh, so the packaging, um, it's very light. That's the, that's the first thing I noticed, very light. And a very tough, um, tough plastic, very tough um, waterproof plastic, which is good. All right, so let's uh, try and open it up, see how easy this is to open. Okay, so it's actually quite difficult to open. Um, it says a peelable seal. Um, obviously I don't have access to any field kit, like a, a knife or anything like that. Uh, it's not peelable in the slightest. I know, I'm just gonna have to brute force my way into this bag. You can see, oh, there we go, yay. Okay, here we go, we're in. So let's see what's in the bag, what we have here. Okay, number one. Okay, so uh, the first thing here is uh, honey mustard and onion pretzel nuggets, as you can see here. Okay, okay so the next thing we have is a um, MRE um, entree here. So I, hmm. so I've been in the, uh, you know, the Australian uh, army for about 10 years and I don't think I've ever eaten a warm Russian pack because we've always had total fire bans um, whenever I've been on an exercise or an operation. And we usually have the hexamine stoves. So this is a, a bag um, that you can add your entree into. Um, okay, and so you, you fill it with water. So I guess this must um, be some kind of uh, exothermic reaction. Um, okay, so I would imagine that this then would be like powdered magnesium. Um, and when you add the water, it oxidizes to, to produce heat, but um, I mean, it doesn't say anything about it, but that chemical reaction would be way too slow to generate any usable heat. Um, I mean, not enough to, I wouldn't imagine enough to, uh, to heat, heat a meal. Um, so I assume there's also maybe like some iron or, and salt in there, so that when you add the water, the salt will go into solution and become an electrolyte. And then you will have the, the magnesium and the iron and then you'll sort of produce a galvanic cell. Um, and because the, the magnesium and the iron sort of in contact with these thousands of tiny little batteries generating electricity. Um, I assume that's how it works. So there we go. Oh, then we have oh, a hot beverage bag so we can, we can heat up our beverage. Great. Oops. Ah, yes, there we go. The trusty, trusty spoon. Great. Um, Nice strong um, plastic spoon. We have a carbohydrate um, electrolyte beverage powder. It says grape flavored, delicious. We have, ooh, grape jelly. I've never tried grape jelly before. Good to try. Ah, good old peanut butter, excellent. Uh, during my time working at an American summer camp, um, Back in the day, I became very fond of um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <clears throat> okay, and here we have some uh, multi-grain snack bread. Okay. Now, what's this? Oh, marble pound cake. Interesting. There we go. Marble pound cake. Oh, we have a little sundry bag. We'll open that up in a minute. Ah, I think here we have our main entree. Which is beef stew, delicious. And, oh, and that's all. So we'll open up the sundries pack now. Let's see. We have hot sauce. Ooh, some chewing gum. Bill's Brew Instant Coffee. Bill's Brew Instant Coffee. A sugar ration. Um, What's this here? Oh, um, non-dairy creamer. Uh, a moist towelette. Mm -hmm. What else do we have in here? What's this? Oh, iodized salt. Very important. Um, oh, yay. Toilet paper. And matches. Let's see what kind of matches they are. These matches.
structures are especially designed for damp conditions and climates. So since I'm currently in a hotel um, and this uh, flameless ration pack heating releases hydrogen gas, uh, I don't think I'd better use it to, um, to heat up my, my entree and my, uh, my hot beverage. Okay, so the first thing I'll try is the multigrain snack bread. So let's see how that goes. Let's tear it open here. Ooh. Ooh. It smells a lot like soy sauce. Oh. It's mouldy. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, unfortunately, even though the uh, the use by date said 2021, I'm pretty sure um, this bread has gone mouldy, uh, and that's why it kind of smells um, a bit like Vegemite. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna eat this. Obviously, um, it's very dense looking. It's very heavy, heavy bread. Um, see here um, yeah try and get it out to show you what it looks like um, although we will not be consuming this no, I think it's just going to completely fall apart so let's just open it here the packaging was sealed um, and it is in within its use by date so I think that's strike one for the uh, American MRE so let's move on to the next item in this uh, this MRE. We have the honey mustard and um, onion pretzels. So I'm a little bit um, reluctant now to try these. Um, so there's been no breach in the uh, in the packaging. So it's it looks fine. Let's open these up. smell really really nice they smell like chicken stock um, the honey mustard okay so you can see they're quite quite large um, little pretzel bites and they look like they're heavily coated in what appears to be like a chicken stock um, that's the packet okay let's uh, let's try them really really good you can really taste the subtle mustard flavor oh yeah they're delicious really good they're nice and crunchy and not at all chicken stocky like I thought they would be there's no um, there's no you can't really taste salt you've just got this very underlying mm, mustard flavor delicious absolutely delicious okay so next uh, I think we'll try the the main entree which is the um, the beef stew so I'm not going to use the flameless ration heater. I'm going to go and put this in the bathroom sink uh, and pour in some boiling water and let it sit for a couple of minutes and then we'll, um, we'll try it. But first, um, I think I might try it cold because in the field, generally you're not able to heat, heat things up. Um, well, at least from my experience. Um, so we'll try it, try it cold first and then I'll fold it over and put it in some, some hot water to warm it up. Okay. Okay, so it smells beefy, it smells chewy. It smells like, I know, like in Australia, Campbell's um, can of soup. Okay. okay, so you've got some decent beef chunks in there. I can see bits of uh, potato, um, peas, there's peas in there, some carrot, and a nice um, thick, rich gravy. So, that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Wow. It's actually it's actually quite good. It just tastes like canned beef stew. Um, without the can taste. So bonus. Um, the meat's very tender. The gravy's delicious. It's not too salty. 
And the vegetables are a nice, nice additive. Um, we'll just try and heat it up and see what it's like hot. Okay, so next we're going to try uh, one of the beverages uh, while we're waiting for the uh, for the entree to heat up. Um, the carbohydrate, carbohydrate <laughs> electrolyte um, beverage drink. This is great flavoured. Um, it says directions of use to add um, the chemically purified water, but uh, I'm just going to use some water I prepared earlier. Um, and it's said to add 12 ounces. Um, okay, so if I'm being American, I think that's roughly 300 mils. Um, and then you're going to shake it for 30 seconds. So you can pour the water directly into the, the sachet, so that's great. Let's take that. All right, great flavoured. I haven't really had any great flavoured things. Really, I'm like, oh, that's wow. Oh, that smells exactly like grey puddle bubble. Okay, this brings my childhood back. Oh yeah, okay, that smells really great. So, um, I don't know, like, I guess here, I'm gonna pour water to there. Here we go. Okay, I think that would be sufficient. I don't know about shaking this everywhere. see me getting it everywhere. All right, so I've been shaking that for about 30 seconds now. So, oops, very scraping. Oh, it's, it's bright blue. I should really, um, hold on one minute. Okay, so, um, it's actually bright blue. I'm just going to pour a little bit in this, this cup. Um, it's going to be everywhere so you can see. So yeah, it's really bright blue. Um, so let's try it. It tastes like your standard electrolyte drink, sort of salty. It's actually quite good. Um, the ratio of water to, to powder is perfect. Mm. It tastes like I'm drinking Hubba Bubba. It's quite good. It's not as bad as the, um, the Kool-Aid you can get in the US, so it's, it's, a, it's better than Kool-Aid. Um, yeah, it's, I can see if you um, need to be refreshed and rehydrated, this would be, this would be a great option in the field. It's quite good. Okay, so this is nice and warmed up now, so we'll open it fully. It's going everywhere. Okay, so let's have a look. It's everywhere as usual. Okay, so yeah, looks quite looks quite good. Okay, smells great. It smells really good. Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot nice and warmed up. Um, we'll try some of the hot sauce. Because of the iodized salt. It's a little difficult eating at this uh, makeshift table. Okay, so I'll try a little bit of salt in there. Um, a bit of the hot sauce. I'm not a fan of chili or any kind of hot sauce, so I don't think this is going to go down too well. Um, but we'll try just a little bit of it. I have to try everything. Yep, go strong. Okay, a little bit of hot Oh, yeah, that's a lot. A lot. Let's mix that in thoroughly. A bit of salt, a bit of hot sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, whoa, yeah that hot sauce has got a huge kick, but it does actually enhance the flavour, it's quite good, but it's also, it's also quite hot. Mm. Great stew. Okay, so next I might try the, uh, the coffee, it's a Bill's Brew coffee from the William James uh, Coffee Company. And we have a hot beverage bag here, so I'm just going to use water that I've heated up in the kettle. Um, I'm not a fan of milk in coffee, but I'll, I'll add this milk, um, this cream I just try. So, um, here we go. We should make just like, maybe like any kind of instant coffee. Hopefully it's the granules and not the powder. So I'd be like granulated instant coffee better than the powder coffee. It smells really good. Let's that in there. And it's um, kind of in between. It's very small granules of coffee. We will throw in our ration of sugar. Put it there as well. And there, there we go. And I don't usually have milk in my coffee, but we'll try this. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. Okay. All the packets are very difficult to open. A little bit of crema. I'll just do half, half packet of crema. Okay, so now I'm going to go and add the, the water. So you've got um, you know, a six ounce, an eight ounce, or a 12 ounce coffee, depending on how strong you like it. Maybe I'll make the, uh, the six ounce. I'm just gonna go add the hot water and I'll be back. Okay, so we had our water. I didn't quite put six ounces because this looks like quite a large coffee. Um, so I'll just 
So I'm just going to let that, that sit and cool a little bit. Um, right there. All right. And we'll try the dessert, which is the um, marble pound cake. Hoping that um, as a bread-based product, it hasn't gone moldy. So let's try. Okay. Is it open? Okay. So it looks, oh wow. Oh, oh God. That smells so good, maple syrupy. I mean, I've never had pound cake before, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, but yeah, this looks this looks really good. We've got a, a desiccant here that we don't want to eat. Um, so that's the, um, the marble pound cake. Um, I'm just uh, gonna break it in half just to make sure it's not moldy. Oh, it's like swirly vanilla and um, chocolate. Interesting. Okay, let's try this. It smells really great. It's very dense. It smells like cocoa. Mm. Not bad. It's got a subtle chocolatey vanilla flavour. Not too dense. It's quite sticky. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's quite nice. Okay, so here we have the peanut butter ration. It's quite a lot. Let's just squeeze it down a little bit. My hands are sticky from the pound cake, so it's going to be even more difficult to open these. Okay, so we'll just squeeze, squeeze some of this out. So, smooth peanut butter. Great. If I just like taste it, taste a little bit. Oh yeah. That's great. Just your standard peanut butter. It's smooth, it's creamy, delicious. Um, there. And then we have the grape jelly, and I've never tried grape jelly before. Um, Jelly, if I could open it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Dangerous. Hmm. It smells grapey. I'm expecting it. Okay, I might just try a little bit with a spoon. So it's kind of like, I mean, I'm. Whoops. Okay. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, it's very runny. Um, I guess jelly in America is like a mix. I mean, I'm used to jam, which is more of a denser fruit conserve. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not bad. I'm not a big fan of grapes um, in general, but mm. it's sweet. It's delicious. It would have been really nice on the bread, and especially mixed with peanut butter. That's that's fine. It's not bad. Okay, so next we will try the bag of coffee. Um, let's open it up. You're probably better off tipping this into a cup canteen because I can see this going everywhere when I try to drink it. But Smells good, nice aroma. Right, let's, let's hope to drink this. Oh wow, that's good. That's probably mm, that's probably the best instant coffee I've ever tasted. Bill's Brew, great. Yeah, that's really that's really good. That's probably the best instant coffee I've ever had. Very good. Okay, so now we will finish off our meal with the moist towelette and then try the chewing gum. So see how that is. So, great, it's still moist, excellent. Well, you know, a lot of the times you get the, the towelettes and they've, they've gone dry. So, great, nice moist towelette to wipe all the stickiness off. Okay, so lastly, we will try the, the chewing gum that we got in the, the ration pack. I can open it. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's see. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, wow. That Whoa, oh gosh, I was not expecting that. It's like cinnamon flavored. I've only ever tried like mint or peppermint or spearmint flavored gum or like, oh, it's, mm. I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, but the gum's good. It doesn't fall apart, it's nice and chewy. And some gums that, you know, they just dissolve the moment you eat them. Mm, it's good, um, it's refreshing, but I'm, yeah, not a big fan of the cinnamon. But it's actually not that bad, and um, the flavour lasts a while. It's pretty good. Okay, so just between the gum, the last thing you have in the ration pack are the matches. Um, and they say here these are especially designed for damp conditions. There's a lot of moisture in the air. You can see there. Here, yeah, I'm obviously not going to light one. Um, but yeah, matches. And we have our ration of toilet paper. Um, see how much toilet paper you get. Yeah, 
pieces in that. No, it's nice and nice and thick. Thick squares. There we go. Yeah, toilet paper. So I hope you enjoyed my review of the American um, MRE, ready to eat meal. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel.